Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today to do a video using the products that Craftspire sent me. Um, I just wanted to say that I am still getting over whatever it is, a cold or flu or whatever I have. Uh, so my voice might sound a little bit weird. But I wanted to hop on here and do this project using, we're going to be using some of these items. Um, probably mainly this one. But these are items that Craftspire sent me and I will have all of their information down below so I'll make sure to link them down below. I'll also link um, each of these products and they did give me a coupon code for you guys. So if you use SKIES10 you can get 10% off your whole order. Um, I will list that down below as well. All right, so in my last video, I used some of this ribbon and it turned out beautiful. I really love how delicate these ribbons are. But today we are going to do a project, project using this trim right here. It's just so adorable. I might get to this, but I might not. But these are some of my favorite trims. They're so pretty and they come in so many different colors. They're pretty just sitting on a card like this. <coughs> but I will be using <coughs> Sorry about that. I will be using some paper from Amity Bloom, one of my favorite papers from her. So let's trim this up a little bit. I don't think I'm coughing because I'm sick. I'm coughing because it's so dusty in here. <coughs> it's nearly impossible to keep up with the dusting in my craft area. So I'm just cutting out these um, two separate pieces so that we can work with them. All right, now you can use plain cardstock as well. I'm choosing to use these designs. I'm also going to use her. This is from Red Deb on Etsy. All right, I'm going to be using two sizes, I think. I think I'm going to be using two sizes of this die. And I will show you what they are, if it's within reach. <laughs> um, I thought I just saw the packet here. Hmm. Things disappear really quickly around here. Okay. I don't see it, which is gonna be a problem because I'm gonna need to put those away. <coughs> All right. These are similar. These are similar to these dies right here from Spellbinders, in case you were curious. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut out, and I have to think about this. <laughs> this is gonna be our background. 
So we are going to cut out a little frame. And I think that's how we're going to cut it out, like that. So I think we're only going to need one size. So I'm going to choose the larger size. So let me go ahead and actually first, I need to cut this to match, match this right here. I'm just going to trim that up. going to cut out a piece from the middle. Am I too close? I just don't want like a huge mess. Let's go like that. All right. We're just gonna go um, kind of close to the top, I think. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna make sure that it's straight and aligned. And then we're gonna press it through or roll it through. I think this is really tough because um, my plate is so warped. I really should get rid of this by now, but I'm just gonna use it into the ground. <laughs> All right. So there we have these pieces. Now I am going to just bring my hair up really quick. Now what I want to do is I want to use this trim to frame to frame the frame. And I almost want to make the edge disappear here. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to just put a bead of glue, but before I do that, I should cut some more. Um, I kind of wanted the pocket to be like a little floating like a floating frame with these daisies. So let's see here. <clears throat> okay, let's try that first. Then I could always cut some more. I think I have a piece under here because it was kind of folded. All right. I 
probably should have done this before. Let me know if you guys are working on anything today. I've been really trying to make these types of videos a little bit shorter, more concise. If they're a little bit, if they're craft with me, I'll let them go as long as, like I won't be trying to make it so concise or short. But with this type of video, I kind of want to not let it go for so long. All right. I'm looking for a piece of plastic here, just so glue doesn't go everywhere. Okay. Let me see if I can find a better piece. So I keep in this box the most boring thing in a way. I put any kind of plastic wrappers and bags and pieces of cardstock so that whenever I need something I can just go to this box and get like a really big piece. Or a big or a small piece. <laughs> and I love reusing because it's so efficient or something. All right, I'm going to put this down. Let's turn it so we're working with a flat surface. And let's make sure I'm in frame. I think for this part, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Sorry for the glare on the plastic, but hopefully this part's not going to take too long. All right, let's start off just see in this glue. Maybe just start with a few. And I do want to add a lot of glue. And I want it to overlap into the like frame. Okay, let's let's see what's going on in here. If any of you use this beacon, um, glue from the Dollar Tree, does it kind of dry in the bottle? I mean, obviously, there's a little bit of an opening here, but not really because with this, it seals it pretty tight. Hmm. All right. Let me make sure there's no glue on my hands. We're just going to have to put a thicker there. That's what we needed. And I'm just going to continue down the row.
I think I actually am going to just make sure that everything's really tacked down on these edges here. just gonna put a clip on that part just really quickly I do like that this glue is so strong though. Once it does dry down, even though it doesn't start like such a wet glue. All right. Let me just make sure that's all good. <clears throat> and we'll continue on. I'm not that happy with this side. Actually, I think I know what I'm going to do. Alright. Let's continue on. Let's just go in this direction. I don't know if I just have weak hands, but I feel like I'm not even squeezing this glue out. What is the weather like for you guys where you are? I really feel like... So I... Summer is my favorite season of all time. Even when it's like an oven outside, like I don't mind. I don't mind as long as there's AC around, <laughs> but, um, but I love being in the heat. My favorite season is definitely summer. And ironically, my least favorite season is spring. I just feel like it is such a tease. Does anyone else feel that way? Maybe it's because um, by then I'm just so tired of the cold weather that I'm like thinking spring is gonna be, or April and May is gonna be like a relief, but usually it's just as cold. And I live in California, so I know I have nothing to complain about, although we did get snow this year. <laughs> um, which was crazy. It was in the, the 30s and the 40s here, where I am for a little bit there. And so it was definitely cold. Not zero degrees cold, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but I just feel like sp spring, and maybe it is because I live in California, but spring is such a, a tease here. Because it's just like chapter two of winter almost for us here. I almost like winter more because it seems it's more exciting with the holidays and it's new still like winter is new at that point I haven't gotten sick of it yet <laughs> But 
but it is starting to warm up. I think today was almost 80 degrees. But I know that's just an introduction because it's not going to stay summer weather. But it's been really nice. I've been growing some flowers. I can't remember if I talked about these flowers before, but they're my favorite flowers. I think I got them in 2021. It's a plant. Like I wanted to get a plant so I could re keep regrowing it and getting more flowers off of it. And all right. Now I am going to add f a layer or layers, probably just one layer. Whoops, I thought those are my scissors, All right? So I think I'm going to add this onto the page that it's going onto before we layer out. But before, okay, so it's still kind of fragile because the glue is not fully um, dry. But I'm going to put it into this page, into a page of this book here. This is my paper doll book. I work on this on TikTok. And I think we're just gonna flip to a page and add this in here. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this page. So it's just going to be like a frame on here. I love how that looks against this book page. And this book page back here is actually from a like botanical book. So that's perfect from a gardening book. All right. I hope that didn't damage anything. All right. So. I am, this is the card that's going to go into this pocket, and so I'm just going to make sure that I glue everything pretty close to the edge, so that when this pocket goes in, it's going to stay within the frame, even though it doesn't have to be exact. So let's go ahead and apply glue here. I'm just gonna go pretty close to the, I just don't want it to dry into the opening because then it's gonna make the card not fit. frame. Okay. Actually, what I was going to do is put this piece as the background. So I think I'm going to stick with that plan and sandwich this together. I 
And we're having problems with this already. All right. <laughs> Although now I'm wondering if I liked it the other way. I think I like it the other way. So let's do this. It's kind of messy, but it works. That's why I love working with paper. I think crafting with paper, it's very hard to make a mistake that you can't fix. All right, hopefully that's enough glue. I just wanna make sure that it's holding everything really steady there. Okay, now Did you guys catch my mistake? I have been making so many mistakes. In videos. We need to leave an opening. So what I'm gonna do, I feel like lately my videos are like, like instructions on how to fix mistakes. So I'm gonna put this in this bag here because then I'll know the size that the opening on the top here should be. And and we're gonna let that sit there. <laughs> the opening is sufficient. Okay. Then we're going to continue to layer. I love this and I chose her because I feel like this is so 70s. Alright, let's go ahead and Make sure everything's glued down. Honestly, this is why um, doing stuff on camera is hard. Because for some reason I always feel rushed. But also, I haven't done this before. This is an idea. And I came on to just create because that's part of being creative too I think even though I'm making a video
Now, I think I kind of want to do a corner or two corners. Two corners, maybe one corner with some of these. And the funnest part is choosing the colors, I think. So I could go with this, which is would be very expected. That's too bright. This is even brighter. I don't think I'm going to go with any pinks. And I don't want to... I don't know, sometimes... Sometimes yellow and purple is weird to me because it reminds me of the Lakers. Um, but I think that might be okay. Or I could go with red. I think red might be fun. Even though it's not my favorite color. Okay, I think we can go with purple. <laughs> All right. So I am going to trim these flowers because I want them to be whole pieces. And that's another great thing about this. You can make this go pretty far because if you're going to trim um, off the individual pieces, that's a lot of pieces that you are working with. Make sure I'm in frame. And I'm thinking of just doing two corners, so I don't want to trim too many. I want to have some where there are two. Flowers and some where there are one. And then I think I just want the purple to accent. So we're just gonna trim, we're just gonna trim a few of these ones. Let's do like five. I think this is five right here. All right. Now, I think these would be pretty in a shaker too. I am gonna finish with um, the daisies though. This is almost like collaging. Let's see here. Now I'm feeling like I want to fill in some of these areas with the little flowers. I think the collaging has really gotten into my head because I can't believe I'm like collaging with this too. Unplanned. Maybe this can peek out. Trying to make it blend.
All right. So that's what I came up with. I feel like it's very 70s because they would have a lot of like just like florals, right? I think like not the groovy 70, but the more the more feminine 70s where they would have flowers in their hair and stuff like that. This was really fun. I did not think that I would be collaging with embroidered flowers, but I really love how it turned out. It's definitely very different from anything I've done before. And I love how over the top it is. This glue is still not all dry, but so I don't, I'm not going to remove this yet, but I really love this frame and I love how the flowers are just kind of floating there. I think what I'm going to do is let this dry and then I will be back in just a second to show you the end result. I'm going to be putting this card in here. Um, I don't know if she now fits in with this whole floral scheme because she's a little bit too casual. I might just have this in there. Um, but you guys will see soon enough once I come back in just one second. All right, so this has dried. Let me hold it up for you guys to see. I love how it turned out and I'm definitely going to be collaging more with embroidered flowers and things like that. But we are going to be finishing up the card that goes into the pocket. So I'm just going to take a piece of this light green um, <clears throat> embossed powder, I mean, oh my god, embossed paper. As you guys might be able to tell, my voice got worse since um, the last time I filmed. I don't know what it is, but I am, I'm just not able to kick it this time, this cold or whatever it is. Um, and I did take a test and it's not that thing, so I don't know. All right, um, I'm kind of, yeah. <coughs> Is anyone else sick right now? I didn't get sick for years. Ever since 2018, I didn't even get sick once a year. So I don't know what happened here. All right. So I am going to use that as like the little tab on the top and I want to put this here as well to give it some reinforcement. Um, well I'm wondering if that's strong enough. We might switch it out. <clears throat> wow, my voice sounds terrible. It's one of those things, sorry, I'm looking for a paper over here, but it's one of those things where it's extremely scratchy. Okay, let's go with, maybe let's go with white. Oh, this is handmade paper. It's not very thick either. All right, let's just do this one. <clears throat> hmm. I'd have to make, cause the back, I need like a punch or something. Let's try punching it out. Alright, 
So if we do this, or maybe I can layer with this because I really do like this color. top and layer this on like that. Okay, I'm just going to use this to give strength in the back. So let me go ahead and glue it. Okay, there's that problem again. It's like balling up. I really need to buy one of those <coughs> needle things. But I'm just going to use a different glue. Let's try this. I got this years ago, so. It's Aileen's Quick Grab. All right, so I'm gonna put that like that. And then glue this over it. <coughs> And then we're just going to put glue here. Now, I also want to, let me make sure this is sticking. I also want this little girl in here because it's just gonna look like she's sitting on like a bed of daisies or something. So we're going to add her on there. This little girl is from Red Deb on Etsy. I love her images. And I think this um, girl has that 70s vibe. 70s, but still really cute not too groovy. I mean, she's a little bit groovy. All right.
Let me get a flat surface here. And then we're just gonna slide her in. Now if this is just my own personal glue book type thing, if I was making this to sell, I would um, make sure that the pocket fits a little bit better. Because I feel like the flower should have come in a little bit closer but I'm just gonna let it dry and hopefully solidify a little bit more because yesterday these flowers were very um, unstable they were just like coming off everywhere because the glue hadn't cured yet but so there we have that I never, I have never done anything like this before, and I didn't think this would turn into this, but it did, and I actually really love it. So pretty. Um, if you guys are interested in these flowers, make sure to check the description box. And other than that, thank you so much for watching today. I am going to go get some hot tea for myself, <laughs> but um, I hope none of you guys are sick right now. Take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, everyone.